Hey, hey there, bosses. Welcome to this fun little Marcy Minute here on the Legacy Boss Podcast. And I feel super honored to be starting 2022 with you. Now, I know you're supposed to, you know, make podcasts evergreen, but this is the first podcast of 2022. And I really want to talk about something that if you get this right from today, the rest of your year is going to be awesome. And truly, whenever you're listening to this podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm telling you, get this right today and the rest of your day, your month, your year, your business journey will be awesome. So today we're going to talk about four ways to postpone procrastination. Are you with me? (laughs) Let's go. Number one, do it now. Do it now. It really is that easy. Stop putting off for tomorrow what you can do right now. Stop letting fear run your business, your life, your dreams, your goals. Just do it now. I'm sure you're all fans of Mel Robbins like I am. Her five second rule is amazing. And literally, if you're feeling that fear, if you're having that hesitation, just count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it now. Okay? So that's the first thing that we are going to integrate into this year, into this moment of our lives, is to simply do it now. And when you overthink, that's when you you hesitate. When you overthink is when you change your mind, is when you don't take that leap, right? So just do it. If there's a task that you need to do, if there is a goal that you have, if there's something that you know is going to make a difference in your life and your business and all the things, do it now. Number two, take baby steps. If that big task, if that big goal is big and it's feeling overwhelming, if it's stopping you from progressing forward because it just seems like too much, take it and break it down into baby steps. I'm a huge proponent of this. I teach and talk on this all the time. It's to set that big goal, look at that big dream, no matter what it is, and now work backwards. What are the little incremental baby steps that you need to take now, that you need to create now, that you need to build now, right? We're going back to number one now. <laughs> Do those now, okay? Take it into baby steps, and now just do that first one. What's the very first thing that you can do to walk forward towards that goal? Break it into the baby steps, and when you complete that first step, take time to congratulate yourself. Take time to feel the the goodness. But so many times we have goals that we hit it, and we go, okay, awesome, now what's the next step? But we don't take time to how amazing it is that we reach that goal. It doesn't matter the size. Okay, ladies, it doesn't matter. Just feel the awesomeness that you have, that you did it, right? Because look at all the people that didn't, didn't even do step one. Okay, they didn't do it now. They didn't break it down into a bite-sized piece. And you did. So what can you do to maybe you know reward yourself? Can you go get yourself a manicure? Can you maybe just lock yourself in the bathroom and hide from people for a moment? (laughs) Right? I think I use that example a lot. Does that tell you anything there? (laughs) Number three, forget about it. Like literally, forget it. Sometimes if all the other things are not falling into place, if, if this thing that you think you need to do or you want to do or is written down for you to do is such a struggle, Maybe there's a reason behind it. Have you ever thought of that? I know there's been times that I've put things off, put things off, and I've, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And I really internalized and, and intentionally looked back at myself as to why I'm doing this. And I realized it wasn't meant to be, or at least at that moment, it didn't align with the goals I had. It didn't align with the way my life schedule or, or system is at this moment. So I had to forget it. Now, if it's something you really want to do, something that's in your heart, maybe now is just not the right time. So we're not forgetting about it, like scratching it off. We're just putting it into a different time, into a different place, until you can hold the space in your life, you can hold that space in your business for that goal. Okay, so forget it. If you have something that's telling you, now it's not. You have that still small voice. If you get quiet and you get that download from God that's like, ah, not right now. 
listen to it. Forget about it. Put it off for another day if it's important. Or maybe it was important and now it's not. Sometimes we want things that are not meant to be in our life. So get out a journal, write down why are you procrastinating this? And if it comes to you that you're not meant to do it, don't do it, girl. It doesn't mean you failed. It doesn't mean that you didn't reach that goal. Some goals we set are not meant to be. And just accept that. Now you have more time in your day for something else that is meant to be, okay? Number four, get support, get help. Maybe it's time to hire a coach. Maybe it's time to finally collaborate with someone and have that accountability partner, that business bestie, that clearly Sean is for me, <laughs> that will help you along your way. Maybe you've been procrastinating in something because you know you cannot do it alone. And that's okay. We are not meant to be alone in this life, right? You might have built this business from day one, from scratch, with your hands and your tears and your bloody fingers. And now you're at a place that you want to up level. Now you're at a place that you want to pivot. Now you're at a place that you need help with someone shining a light in those dark places, but going to grab your hand, support you, and carry you with love and guide you in the right direction. So if that's what's going on, find someone that can help you do that. Again, it's, you don't have to spend money and hire a coach, although ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I do have four seats open currently in my uh, coaching special. So definitely check that out no matter what time of the year that you are listening to this. You can either jump on or you can get on my wait list. Just go to marcykatemomboss.com and you will see a place right there on the front to apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I also have a host of other programs to meet you where you're at. Maybe you're not ready for coaching, but maybe you need help with vision casting. Maybe you need help with designing your dream day so that your schedule goes with the flow. Maybe you need help in other areas Again, check out my website, marcykmomboss.com, and look for uh, the success roadmap. It'll just let you know all the different options. So when you're ready to take those next steps and you're dragging your feet because they're scary, get someone to help you, get someone to support you, get someone to love you, and you do the same for somebody else. Okay, do you have another tip for postponing? I would love to hear it. Go ahead and email me at info at marcykmomboss.com or leave a note here with a review. You know, give give a review, <laughs> but let us know. Hey, here's another hot tip I have that's helped me with procrastination. Perhaps I will read that and even feature you on another podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have an amazing 2020, 2022, and we will see you Bye.